Hey there, today we're going to talk about enhancing your distorted guitar sound with some really nasty stuff. Hi, welcome to Hoborek. I'm Ulf. I just want to start by saying, if, you, if this is not your first time watching my videos and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It would help me tremendously. Uh, I really want to grow this channel a little bit more. My next goal is 10,000 subscribers, and I would really appreciate it if you could help me to reach that. Anyways, uh, today we're going to talk about enhancing your distorted guitar sound uh, with something that most people know as a really extreme form of, of distortion, which is the Boss Heavy Metal HM2 pedal. This pedal was made iconic by a lot of old Swedish death metal bands such as Entombed, Bloodbath, uh, At The Gates, and you name it. And then it <laughs> found its way over to the United States, and uh, now it found its way back to Sweden again uh, with all the trends and stuff. But the sound you get from it, you're supposed to have all the, all, all the controls on max and uh, just play it as nasty as it sounds. Uh, you get this really, really gnarly sound. It feels like the sound is pushing down your ears, actually. Uh, it has a really weird sort of EQ curve that makes it really stick out and be really present. And sometimes I feel like I'm missing that when I'm doing more regular distorted guitars. So I've been experimenting a little bit with, on one hand, like overdub guitars with HM2, or just split the signal and use one channel with HM2 and one with the regular sound you want. So I'm just going to show you a few examples here today to show you what you can accomplish with that uh, in various ways to make your guitars pop a little bit more. Uh, without getting that super nasty chainsaw distortion. Here's the first example we're going to look at. It's by a band called Dead Sleep. Uh, we just finished our album a while back and uh, it's on mastering now at You Will Grind, I think. Um, the thought process here was to record the guitars pretty well defined. It's recorded through a Marshall GCM 800, I think. Uh, with a pretty standard sound and then to get some grit and a nastiness to it to bind everything together we overdubbed it with the uh, 2HM2 through the clean channel of my PV Classic. So here's what it sounds like with only the standard guitar sound. And now let's hear it with the HM2 tracks. To make the difference a bit clearer, I can switch back and forth. Uh, it's not volume compensated, so you have to take that in, uh, into consideration, but I hope you can hear the tonal differences anyways. It brings out a little bit of that pokey frequencies that makes it feel like you have no split or something. <laughs> and now for the next example, another band called uh, Raven also just finished an album. It will be released pretty soon, I hope. In this example, it's not consistent. We only have the HM2 overdubs at certain places where we want to bring out some more presence and depth to the guitars. Uh, so I'm going to show you this example here, which comes into like a really heavy part. And then at that point, we overdub with the HM2 to really make it. Makes the guitar feel a lot louder. I mean, they become a little bit louder, but the feeling of them is even more loud, I think. It's like more a more saturated sound. So I'm going to show you. And again, we start without the HM2. Back 
and let's bring in the nastiness. And just for the pure joy of it, just, let's just listen to the HM2. The last example is a band called Cemetery. Uh, their album is already released, so check it out on your preferred streaming services, I guess. Um, this music is a bit different from the other two. It's more like retro stoner doom rock. But the guitar player had a pretty clean sounding amp, so we wanted to just dirty it up a little bit. So we, in this case, we split the signal in two uh, and recorded it simultaneously. So this is no overdubs, it's just a split signal, one going through the, the amp he had and the other one through a HM2 pedal mic'd up through some other amp I don't remember right now. And again, uh, first we play it without the HM2. And now let's hear it with. And to make it a bit more obvious, I'm going to switch back and forth. As you can hear, it can make a huge difference when you layer guitars with totally different sounds. I would also encourage you to try this with like fuzz pedals or other just random sounds. Um, like even, I mean, you can go the other direction too, to overdub with a cleaner sound to get more strings out of a guitar. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a video about that, showing how you can, like if you want to have like the chords coming through when you play something with like very defined chords, but you still want a lot of distortion, you can just put a mic on your electric guitar and try that. Um, I'm not going to show that today, but I'm going to go come back to that if you are interested in hearing examples of that. Let me know. So thank you so much for watching. And as I said in the beginning, please subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Leave comments and questions. I'm like collecting questions for an upcoming uh, Q&A session. Uh, I know I've been saying that for a long time. I, I have a lot of questions, but I'm getting to it. Uh, I promise. I promise. Um, until next time. Bye bye. Cheers.